in this part of the video, we'll be trying and understand the hormonal regulation of the male reproductive system. That, uh, that means what all hormones are playing an important role in the uh, release of sperm and the release of testosterone which is required for the production of the sperm. So let us try and understand the role of various hormones. The hypothalamus which is situated in the brain gets stimulated and it releases a hormone which is known as gonadotropin releasing hormone that is GnRH. So this hormone in turn stimulates the anterior pituitary to produce two hormones that is the FSH and ICSH. We call them respectively as follicle stimulating hormone and ICSH as interstitial cell stimulating hormones. So these two hormones are produced by the anterior pituitary on being uh, on, on getting the on getting stimulated by the release of GnRH by the hypothalamus. Now let us discuss the role of one uh, each of the hormones one by one. The ICSH or the interstitial cell stimulating hormone acts on the Leydig cell. Now these Leydig cells are present in the seminiferous tubule in the interstitial region and they are responsible for the release of testosterone hormone. This testosterone hormone is important for the production of the sperms or it is responsible for spermatogenesis. Also, it is responsible for the development of the secondary sex organs and accessory glands at the same time for the production of sperms. So these two major functions are in, performed by the uh, testosterone which is a, a major androgen or the hormone. Now this is actually under the production of this testosterone is under the negative feedback control. So what happens, what we mean by negative feedback control, that means if the amount of testosterone secreted is more, then it sends a signal to the anterior pituitary to, re to stop the release of ICSH and also will send a signal to hypothalamus to stop the production of gonadotropin releasing hormones or GnRH. So it is a negative feedback control that means the more the testosterone, if the level of the testosterone is more, it will stop the or it will send the signal to anterior pituitary to stop with the secretion of ICSH or the interstitial cell stimulating hormone. Coming to FSH or the follicle stimulating hormone, the follicle stimulating hormone acts on Sertoli cells. And these Sertoli cells have uh, two type of uh, proteins which are being produced. One is inhibit and the second is androgen binding protein or we call it as ABP. This androgen binding protein helps in the concentration or it brings about the concentration of the androgens and it, sp uh, it stimulates the process of spermatogenesis. The inhibin which is being produced by the Sertoli cells is also sending the signal to regulate the amount of ABP production. That means if the, uh, sorry, uh, the FSH, if the amount of FSH is more, then inhibin sends the signal to anterior pituitary to stop the production of FSH and also will send a signal to hypothalamus to stop the production of gonadotropin releasing hormones. So FSH, ICSH are the, or this LCSH and FSH, these are the two major hormones which are playing an important role in regulating the function through the Sertoli cells and Leydig cells. The ICSH hormone is also known as luteinizing hormone or we call it as LH. So this hormone help to regulate the male reproductive system.